How's it going, everyone? So we just wait, wrapped up week six of the course, or if you're like me and you generally end up working a lot of weekends, maybe you're just starting week six of the course, and that's uh, that's totally okay. So hopefully everyone got a chance to watch the introductory video, and uh, I was a little bit delayed in posting the chapter five lecture material for this week. In fact, I just got the last one up today, which really, if you think about the way that it's been posted all semester, is pretty consistent. I end up wrapping up on Thursday or Friday, but uh, hopefully you'll find those videos helpful. In addition to kind of finishing chapter five, we're doing a read ahead of chapter six. And uh, this Sunday, you'll have homework due on the read ahead for chapter six. That's chapter six, part one. I ended up moving the chapter five, part two homework until Tuesday um, because I got the lectures uh, posted a little bit late. The main thing that I want to draw your attention to, though, is this discussion board four which uh, I'm calling the exam to progress check. And really all that is, is a way for me to make sure that uh, we communicate about <laughs> what's going on towards the end of the semester. So as you can see here, uh, all of my grades kind of work backwards in this, uh, in this email. Um, I have to turn in grades on the 16th, which if you go to the calendar is, uh, what would that be? Two weeks from Monday. So we got this weekend and then we have two weeks left. And in that time, we need to do two exams. The second exam will be next week, and it'll cover chapters four through six. So if you were just keeping up, if the only way you were learning the course material is by watching my lectures, then ideally over the next couple of days, you would be wrapping up chapter five. Uh, in order to accommodate this accelerated schedule, one thing that I mentioned below is I'm going to try this weekend to spend, probably just go lock myself in a room for eight hours, because believe it or not, these lecture videos, they take longer to make because... Uh, when you start recording, particularly when you're writing on the dot cam, you know for sure someone is going to call or someone will knock on the door. So usually to make like a 15 minute video, it takes like 45 minutes uh, to do the entire workflow. So I'm going to focus the videos a little bit more on actual example problems from chapter six through the end of the material, which would be chapter nine. So chapter six is kind of the analysis of structures. I'm going to do one example on method of joints, one example on method of sections, and one of kind of the analysis of machines. And it's not like I'm just going to do the examples and explain no theory. Basically, I'm going to embed the theory into the examples, which frankly, if we were working together and you were taking this class in person, that's the way that I would do it as well. So uh, just know that uh, next week you have your second exam covering chapters four through six, five questions. The one thing I wanted to mention is on my lab, I already have the um, practice exam up again. Now, you'll notice that the practice exam doesn't actually count for uh, any credit, but do know that... Um, if, if anyone's on the border, I will look at, at whether or not you completed those and, and consider that in rounding your grade. In addition, this weekend, I'll make the review videos where I cover each of the questions on the sample exam. I think when you start to think about what's going to be on this second exam, really pay attention to the sample exam problems along with the two examples I did this week uh, in the second part of the chapter five lecture. So after uh, we get through that, that second exam, we kind of need to finish off the course, particularly we're going to cover chapters seven, eight, and nine. And uh, those chapters are kind of applications of everything we've started talking about so far. So fortunately, they are a little bit shorter, but um, they, I think I, I haven't actually uh, looked at chapter seven, eight, and nine in quite a few years. The last time I taught this course was like eight years ago. But um, I, the, the, the topics that I know we have to cover are all related to describing the moments of um, bodies. So uh, we did a little bit, we alluded to the idea of the centroid beforehand when we talked about those distributed forces in the chapter four lecture. But anyways, it's just applications of things we've talked up till now. So I'm going to basically pick, uh, we're going to cover it all. Don't worry. I, I will at least say a word about everything in the chapters, but in terms of emphasizing homework problems and exam problems, I'm going to pick the ones that I know are most important, both in terms of preparing you for dynamics, no, nothing in these chapters, the remaining chapters is really overly important for dynamics, maybe the centroid stuff, because it's kind of important in all of um, mechanical analysis. But where you really start to see a lot of this again is wherever you end up transferring, wherever they call, whatever they call the strength of materials class or mechanics of materials. So I'll make sure that uh, you get the problems that, that you need from there in order to be prepared to be successful. And I'm, I'm really impressed. I, I looked at your work and uh, all of you are really, really doing a great job. The one thing I wanted to say, and I know I've mentioned it to some of you beforehand and maybe even in uh, these kind of intro or conclusion videos. 
So Alamo has the uh, summer momentum program where it's very likely you're eligible to take a class for free. If you want to take a dynamics course, we're going to run a dynamics course in June. It's going to be even quicker <laughs> than the statics course. It's only going to be five weeks. But the good news is um, because I'll have a month gap, I'll be able to, to have everything up proactively for that course. So if you're like, man, this is a really good course. I enjoy learning from this guy. He explains things pretty well. Hope, I hope you feel that way. If not, yeah, uh, kind of late, but I'm happy to try to, uh, to modify anything I can. But, uh, and, and you'd like to take it over the summer, do feel free to enroll. It is only five weeks. It will be incredibly quick, but um, probably we'll be hitting about two chapters a week on average. But the good news is the material will be prepared in advance rather than this semester where um, I finally get to start preparing the material about five days into the actual semester. So enough excuses. We got to finish strong and I know everyone will. Exam two next week, chapters four through six, uh, really focus on for chapters uh, five and six on the examples. Well, really chapters four through six, all of the examples that I do on the practice exam along with the two examples I did in the chapter five notes and uh, have a good weekend for those of you that have some time to enjoy it. And even if you're like me and you're going to be working all weekend, just remember only two weeks left. So we'll be at the finish line soon. I'll talk to you all soon.